This is the diary of a working mom. What we eat in a week as a gluten-free, dairy-free family. Usually how I decide what to make is either something I'm craving or I just ask Felix what he wants. We spent a total of $312 for these groceries. I like to stock up on meats whenever the grocery store has them because in Puerto Rico, you never know when they're going to restock. Something I've learned as a mom is that you always have to be thinking like three steps ahead. You always have to have a game plan. So like if I'm taking the baby, then Felix is unloading the groceries. Speaking of having a game plan you should also have something to eat while you're cooking i've noticed that i like i have this plan to cook but then like by the time i get done cooking we're starving so usually it's good to have something to eat while you're already cooking which is what these mason jars are they are these frozen soups that my mom prepared while she was here thankfully that i'm thawing out while i'm starting to cook because i know that by the time i start prepping everything we're going to be hungry already if you watch my last meal prep video you'll remember that i prepped another chicken so this is actually the same chicken and i was really kind of worried to have this chicken take so long to prep because between my last video and this video it was like a week and i even called my mom to make sure like mom is this chicken still good to make because i'm like really nervous about food poisoning and stuff so this chicken was in my fridge for like at least five days before i actually prepared it um which usually would stress me out but the sell by date was like february 5th and I made this chicken on February 5th, so it wasn't bad yet. Um, but then I used it to make a couple meals this week that I'm gonna show you guys. So I made this turmeric chicken, and then from the turmeric chicken, I used it for the lettuce wraps, and then I also used it for the pasta. And we ate it like the whole week, and we were totally fine so thankfully everything was good let me know in the comments if you've ever had a similar experience but i was not about to let this whole chicken go to waste now that that's prepped i pop it in the oven for an hour and a half at 350. Doesn't this look so i actually made this the next day but i had some potatoes in the fridge so i decided to make roasted potatoes on the side with my chicken lettuce wraps once the chicken is ready these are so easy to make like this literally took me like 30 minutes maybe less tell me what you think mm. but you need a bite with like the apple and everything mm -hmm. is it good flavors or does it need anything salt you sure okay mm. These potatoes are so simple to make and they turned out so delicious you couldn't stop eating them. I usually try to have potatoes or rice at home at any given time so that I can make it as a side to go with one of my meals. Let's see what he thinks of the first meal. Did it turn out good? Look like a canoe. Lettuce, Very healthy. Boats. Mm, I like the nuts, the crunchiness, the apple in there. So good. Good job. Thank you. This was a recipe from my mom. I just mm. remade it. And the potatoes? And I that made was a good the touch. Potatoes. With, with the mayo and ketchup. Mm. The potatoes are amazing. They turned out so good. He was stealing some from my plate. The only thing that I would change about the lettuce wraps is that the chicken pieces are a little bit too big. Other than that, I think everything's really good. This next recipe is one of my favorite pastas. It's so delicious, especially if you're craving something creamy, but if you can't tolerate a lot of dairy, this is a great alternative. All of these meals that I'm showing you are like 30 minutes to an hour to make really quick because I don't have a lot of time, especially at night. My baby goes to bed at like 8 p.m. and I wanna go to bed shortly after, so I wanna make sure that I can quickly whip something up, eat, and go to bed not too long after. I always try to add a green to my meals, so for this one, I'm gonna use broccoli because it's what I had, but I've also done this recipe with like spinach, kale, and peas, and it's also really delicious. I used one crown of broccoli and chopped it up really small. This is parsley that I'm adding. I added about two teaspoons of dried parsley because I didn't have it fresh, but I would have used fresh if I had it. Finding a good gluten-free pasta can be so tricky, but this one is definitely the best and it's organic. It's lentil and rice pasta and it doesn't get smushy and it's just really delicious. Once my pasta is done cooking, I'm gonna add my full fat coconut milk and that is what makes it creamy without using dairy. 
I am eyeballing it, but I just see how creamy it is and I add more or less coconut milk. So I call this recipe dairy friendly because I am still using Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese is very aged and so for my husband and I, it doesn't really upset our stomachs when we eat it. So that's why we are okay with the Parmesan. There's also some other cheeses that we can tolerate like goat's milk or sheep's milk cheese. While I'm preparing the food, Felix is getting the baby ready for bed and I'm trying to finish this by 7.30 so I can go feed him one last time and tuck him into bed and then we'll eat usually after the baby's asleep. Would you recommend it? What's that? This is my second plate. <laughs> Someone has been up since 5 a.m. today because he's teething. <laughs> I'm so tired. Felix has been getting up with the baby at night. As soon as I lay him down, he wakes up, as you can tell. Right, baby? My goal today, after we get a big, big coffee, to finish recording what I eat and what I make for the family throughout the week as a busy working mom who is also gluten and dairy free. I have two recipes in mind that I need to make today. Does that sound good? Yay! <laughs> I never realized what a big impact not getting sleep would have on me, but honestly, like half the time or more, I feel like a zombie, but the sunshine really helps me. Also, I've noticed that if I try not to think about how tired I am, I honestly don't feel as tired. I asked Felix what he wants for breakfast today, pancakes or muffins, and we both decided on muffins. I'm making my gluten-free, dairy-free banana chocolate chip walnut muffins today. I made these in the last meal prep video, but I wanted to make them again because they're really nice to just grab and go. I noticed I have only two eggs left and I need two eggs for the recipe. My baby is very clingy. He has always been like that ever since he was born. He always wants to be held and we have always had a hard time putting him down for naps during the day. I never knew that it would be like that when I became a mom. I thought that babies always slept during the day easily. Oh, so good. Our setup. Put some Show butter, us what to do. ghee, and then put a little bit of natural, organic, raw, unfiltered honey. It's almost gone. We need a new one. And a little bit of yogurt. Whoa, like yogurt? This. Oh, yeah. Mm, try it. It is really good with yogurt. Mm -hmm. It like gives it like this cold yeah, like, creaminess. He has really been wanting food lately, but he's not sitting up by himself yet. It's first, <laughs> first taste of food. Let's see what he thinks. It's yogurt. Who's that? Is this the chicken? Dad? Oh. oh my goodness, I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, the first thing he ever tried. Are you excited? Are you <gasps> try some yogurt? I just put my baby down to sleep. It is 8.30 right now. So I'm gonna probably for the next hour quickly put together a beef stew for the week. And I'm gonna end on this recipe. I was gonna do a gluten-free pizza, but it's already getting kind of late and I'm just gonna whip something up in the Instant Pot 
that I can leave overnight. This is my go-to recipe when I want a hearty beef soup. I'm basically making this soup up as I go with what I have in my fridge. I'm using two pounds of grass-fed beef. For seasonings, I'm using coconut aminos, onion, garlic, bay leaf, and rosemary. I always use bay leaf. I just love the like, hearty flavor that it gives and then usually i would add a red wine but i forgot to get red wine at the store so you can totally do without it while the meat continues to brown i am washing peeling my veggies and getting them in the pot I am by no means a professional chef, but from what I've learned, usually you brown your meat, you add your onions and your aromatics and your seasonings so that they can start to get some of the flavors out. And then from there, you're going to add like your carrots, your mushrooms, things that take longer to cook, especially in the Instant Pot. And then at the very end, like if you're adding kale or peas, you add those like just to heat them up at the end. You don't actually put them in the Instant Pot. Pot. so I'm letting like my potatoes and everything cook for a lot longer than I would add my kale and everything at the very end. I absolutely love the instant pot as a new mom but you can just let it cook and when it's done it automatically turns to keep warm. I always get the morning shift with the baby. Someone is teething. So this has been on keep warm since I made it last night. I turned it off when I went to feed the baby at around five this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it this morning and see how it turned out. Okay, so I'm just gonna try this for flavor. I just remember I forgot to add the kale and the peas in, which is what I'm gonna do once I taste it. Flavor is amazing. The meat is like super soft. It just flakes right off. Wish I had some red wine, because I think that would have just made it next level, but overall, seasoning is beautiful. It is a miracle. The baby is sleeping in his crib. This never happens, so we are taking advantage and eating our soup while we can. That's a wrap for this week's meals. See you guys next week. Let me know in the comments what kind of soups you guys like. <laughs> Comment your favorite soup.